Hello, Wigs over here, and welcome back to another episode of Titan Souls. And today, here we are in this magma filled dungeon to check out if we can beat these bosses. Now, after this video, I should have 14 bosses done, which is awesome because there's 19 bosses. So, let's go to the first one. I'm guessing it's gonna be right here. Yep, here's the first one. Okay. Let's check the surrounding areas. Is this one similar to the block one? I'm guessing I have to hit the eye. Okay. Alright, well, I have a feeling I have to hit the crystal I has, obviously, and I think I might just, I mean, uh, ugh, god, I can't speak. I think it'll be easier now that I can understand, I fought so many bosses very similar to this already, so. Okay, I was gonna, you know, attack it as it charged at me, but I forgot it doesn't face the eye doesn't face me when it charges at me, so let's try a different approach this time. Hmm, no. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying... For a fact, I don't want to be on the top because I can't really see where the eye is from the top. So if I'm in the bottom or in the middle section sides, then um, I have a better chance of beating it since, you know, I can actually see it. So let's attack her from behind. Let's do that first, so... No, I was way too close. Oh hey, what if I do that? that? That seems like a good idea, maybe. It seems it can get, it st it get stuck on the side like that. So maybe I can lock it in the area and just hit the eye. That that'll be a good idea to try out. I mean, we died so many times already, so I mean. See like that. If I can get it like that, that'll be really good. And of course I have a feeling you don't want to get stuck by the... There we go, see? Oh, that was pretty easy. Alright. I only died, what, four or five times? <laughs> so, so that's a very good technique by the looks of it. That was really cool. Alright, so, let's go move on to the next boss. This one was much easier than the other ones. Just because, one, it's round. And the cube one was much harder, just because it had lasers. And we've had a boss that spins at you, and that's the Yeti, so I mean... Very, very similar combin combination with both of those. What is this? Okay, anyways, let us move on to... Oh, this is the next class. Okay. Okay. Trying to figure out what happens here. Ah, the back crystal. I just saw the back of its head it has a crystal on it. Okay, so I want to get behind that crystal by the looks of it.
Dang it. I stopped right there too. That's my first death right there with this boss. Okay, so the little fire geysers are not much of an obstacle for me. I just stay away from them. I thought it. I, I thought that would be like key to be beating it, but after seeing the crystal behind it, uh, I'm pretty sure it's not. So I mean, it likes to face me, which is bad. So let's go all the way to the top, and then just. Dang it. I'm like concentrating so badly right here. By the way, if you guys don't know already, if I do not speak while they're, I'm like fighting a boss or something, it's just because I'm concentrating. Because commentating and playing a video game is very hard sometimes. Well, not sometimes, all the time. Dang it, okay. I'm trying to see what other approaches I can take in order to beat this boss right here. I should have moving close into it, like be in its personal space. Whoa, how did I not die? I don't know what was happening because I couldn't even see myself. But I missed, definitely, I missed. Okay, let's make sure that if we're close, we don't hit the skull, so we don't bounce off of it. Okay, there we go. Um... Dang it. So it seems that the spiked attack spin that it does is in order for you not to be close to it. So it's it has the long range and the close range all together. And now I just have to find the actual opening in order to do the damage I want to do. There we go. Cool. That took so much timing and precise. Okay, there we go. So it looks like you would want to hit it while it's spinning. Because it does a 12 degree angle, I believe. Like, what, once or twice? Alright, cool. Now we got the second boss done. Now we just gotta get that last boss done. Okay, I've become better at taking these titans down. Okay, so now the last one is gonna be up here by the looks of it, right? Oh, my bad. There we go. The last one should be over here. Right? Right? 
be over here. Oh, yeah, there we go. The last boss is right here. Okay. No? Okay, this is the way I entered into this area. Okay, so it looks like I want to go up the other way. Over here. So I want to go up here. This should be the next boss. What the? Look, I'm back here. Well, uh, I didn't want to go here. But it looks like I have a connection connection between both of these. So we already know we took this place down a long time ago. Okay, so where's the other fire boss? Hmm. I think it's a pretty neat idea that the fire and ice cold the cold area are connected together. That's pretty cool. But now I just want to find out where the next boss is. Wait, is it the the golem without the head? You think that's what it is? do anything about it. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Where is the other boss? Okay, so... I mean... I'm trying to figure out where this boss is. It keeps saying up that, you know, the markers actually show where the bosses are. So I got the one on the left, and I got the one on the right, but there's one on top, and I can't seem to find it. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. And I tried shooting arrows at the golem, but there's nothing. And go down here just because why not? Wait. <clears throat> okay. This is the next boss. Yep. <clears throat> well then. Probably should have followed the crystals then. All right. Hmm. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do what you do, buddy. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, goodness. That's some nice music, though. Ah, oh, dang it. So many tries, so many tries. Maybe...
All right, let's see if we can do it this time. That's how you do it! Okay. So at first I was just trying to avoid the whole fireboss things. Here we go. Let's see if you can get you back over there. So much harder than I th thought it was. Oh, it jumped right at me too. By far the most annoying and persistent boss ever. Alright, so I finally beat three more bosses, leaving me at 14 bosses that I've beat. Meaning I have five more bosses to go. Now let's see what is the next area that I actually have to go to, because I have no idea. Okay, so let's see if maybe that door is open. I think it should be, right? I can't remember if we opened it or not, but let's go check it out right now. The music is different, a little, I think. Go check it out. Yep, there we go. Finally have the door open, guys. Meaning we can now go up this little stairs and see what's beyond this. I need a little bit of water. No? No, I don't think so. I think we just keep going. For, yeah, I had a feeling. It's rain, okay. But now we go up. Yep. We're going higher. We're elevating a bit more. Where are we going? We're, we're like in the top area. Okay. Okay. Oh, I know I did that. Go to the left. Oh. There's one. There's only one boss here. What the? I didn't mean to do that, guys. Okay, well, that, that one starts immediately, but uh, we'll leave that up to the next episode of Titan Souls. So thank you guys for watching this episode, which was very excruciating for me because it took me an hour to beat one single boss. Just one. 
But thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Titan Souls. Bye!